quick morning update on the 75 gallon mixed reef aquarium uh, it's about 11 a.m. the lights come on about half hour and it is the Duncan right here that we're focusing on uh, looks like it's one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 heads. Um, one, two, three, four, five different branches. Uh, it's not opening. All the other Duncans are open, even though the lights are on. Uh, and then I always look at my Kenya tree. Um, and my other leather core, um, if they're open or not, it's, um, you can see that they are. Um, at first I thought it was because I was dosing some of the, the Red Sea and they're just adjusting, so I let it go. Um, so it's been about 70, about two days, 48, going on 72 hours, and it still hasn't opened, so I decided to do a round robin of my water parameters and everything checked out is set for the salinity. So one of the downsides, I guess, of running um, the full Red Sea system is that you have, um, it triggers your skimmer to basically do, um, you know, wet water changes, basically. So. Your skimmer overcompensates for uh, some of the additives that you're putting in the water. It skims it out, therefore your skimmer is pulling out more tank water. And then your auto top off is refreshing the water <clears throat> with, um, you know, just pure RO water. Therefore, you run into a situation where your skimmer, at least in my case, is skimming basically doing uh, a water change, dropping the salinity of my tank. Um, all other factors have been consistent, so I'm going to have to, uh, I guess, reevaluate my approach. Um, I'm slowly adding a half a cup of salt to bring my salinity back up every two hours or so. Um, the salinity came in at, I think it was 30 parts per thousand, that's what it came in at, so um, the fish aren't impacted by that, it's mainly um, this particular coral is kind of a, a um, canary in the coal mine, let me know something um, bad is coming if I don't find out what's causing it. So this is one of the, the largest of my Duncans. I would hate to lose this one. And all other corals are doing fine. They're not as stressed, um, which is pretty amazing. One thing I did notice with the dosing of the, uh, what is that, uh, Nopox, the Seachem, well not Seachem, um, Red Sea Nopox, the, my little ball of, of um, Algae here has started to die off, uh, which is due to the drop in, um, I guess, phosphates and nitrates in the water due to the dosing of the nopox. Uh, I was dosing four mils, and I've cut that in half. Um, so I'm doing between one and two mils, and. There's some of the more algae and it's just slowly starting to wither away. So I'll have to figure out what the plan is for that. And again, just a quick update. Everything else is doing well. The livestock is doing well. Um, searching for some more fish. And there seems to be um, 
a shortage of um, uh, Bengai Cardinals, both the tank bread and the, um, uh, I guess, captive. So I was searching the stores and I'm just having a hard time finding them available, their availability in the stores, at least in the area that I, that I live in, so, which is near um, uh, Metro DC. The red slime algae looks like it's pretty much dying off, which is good. Um, it was all over that rock. And that has gone away. Uh, what else? I think that is it. Um, oh, I did glue this one down over here. So the stinger tentacles on this coral will hopefully keep this um, pulsing zania in check. Thanks for watching, welcome new subscribers, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave it in uh, the section down below, and stay tuned for more updates.